Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends, to Painting with Master Temple. I'm Dan, and thank you for joining me on this fantastic day. Now, let's have a look at the canvas, and let's have a talk about what we're going to be painting. So, this is a pre-stretched canvas, double-primed, pre-stretched, and I've drawn a little outline of a mountain we're going to we're going to paint, and I'm going to leave this area dry because I've had some some chats with you know fellow artists like yourself out there and they're having problems making the mountain break and everything and, and I thought we'd, we'd dedicate a little bit of time today on a mountain. So I'm up here above the horizon line I've just coated this in a thin layer of uh, this is linseed oil and titanium white but you could use liquid white or any of the other mediums that take your fancy. Uh, don't worry about the pencil lines they'll, uh, they'll blend away into the painting as we crack on. Okay, so down here is dry and then we might add some more whites down here. Oh, oh no, it's just a little little loose rough sketch. And we're going to be looking at some subscriber art that you guys have been sending to me as well at some point in the video. Right, so first things first, let, let's crack on. I'm going to get a nice tiny bit of blue paint. So just a tiny bit of, of this is a baby blue. So it's mixed up with a little tiny bit of red and a bit of Prussian blue and some white. Okay, I'm gonna make a varied sky today. Okay, so I'm gonna start off up, up here and I'm gonna put all kinds of different effects in the sky. So there's liquid white on there as well. Hardly any paint on the brush. Okay, see so that's a nice purpley color as we go into that. So we can change the flavors as we go. And we're gonna have some clouds, I think, but it's gonna be so subtle, it's so far away. Okay, so I'm just gonna just throw in this sky because we're gonna blend it all together as we go along. So just vary the colours as we go. Okay, maybe take a little bit of the stronger blues. Okay, I'm just using a, a nice hog air fan brush today. I love these hog air fan brushes. Oh, a bit stronger blue, maybe a bit too strong, but We'll, we'll sort that out. We'll, it doesn't much, I don't think it much matters. I don't think it much matters. Okay, let's come back up here. Tease this together. Just like that. Get the whole sky in. Okay, back. Purpley glows. I may even put a bit of yellow in the sky. I don't know what you think. It's a bit dangerous up here, yeah? It's a bit dangerous up there, but still, I don't know. Just tinkering. Just tinkering. Yeah. Let's get this flat brush. I'm gonna, I am going to risk it for a biscuit, folks. I'm going to risk it and put a little bit of, tiny bit of pale yellow in the sky as well. Maybe put a touch of red in that just to, just as your safety net, okay? So... Just a, a little touch up there, just, just smush that in. Just there. It doesn't matter if you go over, over too much over your mountain. We're going to work on that shortly. Okay, maybe, maybe make another little bit of a peachy colour. So from yellows, a bit of reds, whites, maybe not that much red. <laughs> the sky will be on fire. Just going to break that up there. Wherever we think these little colours need to live, that's where we'll put them. Okay, and just keep playing, just keep playing. A bit more yellow, I think, there. So there we go, with a big clean dry brush, I've just gone over the whole sky and I've, I've delicately blended it all together and smoothed it all out and made it a little bit more subtle and a little bit more fainter okay and I've, I've gone over into the mountains but that's 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 okay that's not too bad and i think that's about it for the sky so we've got variants of colors going on in the sky okay um i may put a cloud in later i don't know i don't know i don't know how this particular composition will go whether it needs it or not i'm not sure but i want to focus a little bit now on these these mountains OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to mix up a uh, a nice dark, well, sorry, not a dark grey. Uh, in fact, we'll go for some of this colour here. So I'm going to take some of this white and a tiny touch of red and blue and a yellow ochre. Red, blue and yellow ochre. And that might give us a nice subtle grey colour. Okay, and then we can start thinking about some distant places over here. Now, you may not see this, and the, the nice thing about having this part dry is you can put your hand down on the canvas without getting getting painted on, you know. We've all had paint all over his fingers. It's a little bit it's a little bit chaotic at times, yeah? <laughs> Especially if you hit your face afterwards, you know. So I'm just going to put some some little background mountains in. Okay, I'm just going to pick out a, a little bit. I think we'll have the light coming from this end, since this looks lighter than this side of the painting. So, we'll put a bit there. I think this mountain might need to grow somewhat. Maybe, maybe a touch back there as well. Just a light indication. Let it pick up that colour that you've already put down. In fact, it's that soft, you can hardly see it. And that's what we're after. That's what I, I want. Nice soft indication that you can hardly see. Okay, quite stiff. As usually you see me painting these with uh, palette knives. And we'll be doing a palette knife mounting very, very soon. But we'll just grab, we'll just grab this colour. Okay, so I'm going to touch. No, I don't need much of colour. Okay, there's no paint there. So it's just, it's going to be quite nice to paint on. I'm just going to grab some of this and just put it down. Now we're going to have highlights at this side and not at this side. So this is where the shadow's going to be. So I'm just going to put that there. And you can see the contrast behind the mountain in the background. But I don't want to kill all the white canvas yet because I'm going to put some, some, some highlights of the shadows, if that makes sense, on this side. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and just, just drop in some mountain colour. I might throw a bit of brown into this. It's not looking too dark. So a little bit of little bit of life into it. So just go around, just drop in your mountains in. See, I've got a third peak just there. And we've got a fourth one here. And a fifth one there. And whatever this is going to turn into, I don't know. We don't know yet. Don't even know where that goes. Might even paint over it, I don't know. So it's just a case of just, just laying in some colour. Okay, just just pick your colours, your stony colours, and just let's let's go with it. So I've got a nice darky colour there. And we we're not committed at this point. We could just we could just put in whatever we want. And if, if it gets to a little too much, we can just take a, a cloth and just, just wipe it off, blend it in. Happy days, yeah. So all I'm doing is just laying in some stony colours. Where those mountains are going to be? This is just on a filbert brush. I'm using a really stern, thick bristle brush because uh, I really want to push the paint into the fabric. You could use a knife, but you're going to end up with a lot of paint on the canvas. And I don't want a lot of paint just yet. That time will come. <laughs> we, we, we really will use the knife and, and plough some some paint really on this but we're just just putting in some 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 backgroundy colors just at this moment okay so we've got a multitude of colors down there for the mountain just various different rock colors and everything it's very rare that you'll get a big block of just the same color that would be concrete and we don't want that don't want this in this canvas okay don't want concrete today so it's all on there. There's hardly any paint on there at all. I've, I've, I've worked hard and I've scrubbed it in and there's very little paint on there. So what I can do is I can just use this rounded brush. It's still got some dirty paint in though. I've, I've wiped it off. And I can just take a little bit and only a tiny amount of white. Okay, and we can just pick out an area. I'm gonna just, just start putting in some snow. If we want snow, okay. If we want snow up here, we might not want snow. We might just keep tinkering away till we just get get nice 
light coloured stones and, and, and everything. But all we're going to do is just, just basically jump from highlight to shadow. Just using the knife, so using the brush like a knife. Just using it like a knife and just let it just gently, delicately graze over the nap of the uh, the canvas, okay? Hardly any paint on the canvas, hardly any paint on your brush, and it will work for you. It will work for you. So just tickle it, tickle it out. Tickle out all these little little do for your do's and do for your d's and various the colours and, and 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 it'll work. But you've got to have time. You can't just do this in a straight half an hour. Or maybe you can if you if you if you get very 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 good at it, which I'm not. <laughs> Trust me, I am certainly not an artist, a professional artist by any stretch of the imagination. Take your time. Take your time. Patience. This this will work. I'm not cleaning out my brushes properly. It's a big no no. So just scrub in some white paint. And just really get because we've only just basically we put that little paint on the canvas we've just stained it basically we've not really done much to the canvas we've just stained the canvas with a little bit of color come back up in here and just put some white paint some titanium white and it'll pick up all the undercoat that's under there follow the angles of the mountains as we go Sit some of these little little do for you do these little hills, mountain peaks, big rocks, large pebbles, whatever we call them, into the painting. We could drift that off, probably have some more colour there at some point. So with a little bit of white and all the mucky colours that are on the uh, the uh, the canvas, we've just misted up the base of all these little mountains and rocks and, and, and all sorts on there. I think that looks epic from where I'm stood. I don't know what it's like where you are, but uh, well, we've, we've got it. I've, I've put a little indication of a tree around about there to give it some scale, but it still looks a little bit blank up there. So we may put another couple of, a couple of clouds up, up, up in the sky, but we're gonna work on the foreground now. So, so I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit more and then we'll come back and just just work on some, some some rocks and big thick. I'm gonna to have to put some more white paint out, but but some thick snow down here as well. Give it some texture to the painting because that's 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 a good thing. Lots of texture, lots of colour, lots of distance. Can't go wrong at that. Something about like that. I'm still unsure whether to put a big cloud up in the sky or not. The beauty of the thing is, is that we can go back and do that. There's nothing going to be uh, interfering with that. It's not going to paint over the mountain or any trees or anything like that. So so we can just decide that as and when. But just a couple of indications of some white floatery clouds down here lurking in the mist. That's about there. Now we need to concentrate a little bit on the foreground now. So. We're going to have some black rocks and some really thick snow. Might put the snow on with a palette knife. Okay, so we need a, we need a paintbrush which is going to pick up some, some black stony colour. So we're going to take some black, a uh, touch of red, a bit of the blues, a bit of umber. Nice, good, dark, stony colour. I'm going to use this filbert brush with really strif, uh, strif, uh, stiff bristles. <laughs> and we're just going to Put in some of this, okay, just scrub that in. And I think the snow drift is gonna come down here. So I'm just gonna scrub some of this in. And again, cause it's a dry canvas. And I know Bob Ross used to say, agony city and all that love, but in all honesty, the less paint you've got on your canvas, the easier it is if you're doing a, a painting that's taking, you know, uh, all in one sitting, you do it all in one day. It might take a little bit more, a little bit more time, a little bit more finesse. And uh, you know, I know, I know we've got not well, we haven't got really unlimited time, but uh, you know, time is valuable. But uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on your 
on your compositions, then that uh, certainly is a good thing. Okay, so I'll just scrub that in there, like so. Probably have a crack down there as well. Just comes right down there, like something like that. I don't know. So all I'm doing now is just taking a, a, a lint-free uh, rag, no, not not a kitchen towel or a tissue or paper or anything like that. It's got to be lint-free or you end up with more of the towel on your, on your canvas. And I'm just removing the excess oil and the excess paint that's under there. So this would be quite, quite firm and dry now. Very, very thin layer. Look at all the paint we've got off the, uh, the, uh, the canvas there. Right. So I'm going to put a little bit of stony highlight on on this side, and then we'll, we'll, we'll play about with it. So I've taken some some burnt sienna and a little bit of a little touch of red, warm it up. It's in the foreground, and a bit of white. Touch a touch of blue, whatever, whatever colour we've got going on. Put some of this stony colour just on there. And we're going to toy with this, just like we did with the mountains. I, I want some. Oh, seems to be a plane going overhead. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, but we're going to toy with this, just like we did with the mountains. Okay, and, and, and create lots of wonderful stony effects. And of course, we're going to have some something down here. We're going to put a tree there just to give it some scale so it's not going to be a massive tree i don't know how big we're going to go with that tree yet but uh, you guys might know because you'll have seen the thumbnail yeah well, i sure hope you have <laughs> so we'll just carry on on just put in a couple of these stony highlight colors just on there just like that and then we'll come back and put some some second highlights on that and thirds and fourths so I've taken a, a little bit of white, blue, um, this under colour, you know, this blacky colour, and just lightened it up. And same dirty brush. I've not, I've not cleaned the brush. And I'm, I'm just going to just gently just tickle over this dark colour, just picking out a little bit here and there. What I don't want to have is like a, a, a black outline to any of these stones. I want to. Um, I like, I like to see, you know, it's not a cartoon if I say that properly. Um, I, I, don't, I don't like to see black outlines to, to stones and mountains. Uh, you know, I think you can make it look a little bit more realistic and natural. Um, to try and paint, like, like we've done up there, we started off with a dark colour, but we've got no black outline. So you try and, try and get that into your paintings if you can. It looks like we've got a crack that comes down there, so I can leave that there for the moment. Just, just tinkering with these colours, just adding a little bit here and there, spending some time, not rushing, not rushing at all, because it makes the videos a little bit crazy because I have to edit everything together. Sometimes I, I like to just paint, you know straight through as you've probably seen in a few few of my videos in the past just straight through just press record and go but uh, and we'll do that in the next video i think so i've taken a little bit of white and uh, yellow and just created a, a nice glowing highlight color and i'm just just picking out just one or two little where the light is really zinging across those rock tops just there just just pick that out just very gently just a tiny touch of white and yellow and it really does make the the, the the rock work pop out right it's time for snow i think so let's let's get a a nice clean brush okay so we'll just use this one it's clean so just brilliant white paint and we will pick up some of this stony color as we go along and we will have to put some shadows in the snow as well but we're just going to plow this on and we will come on I think we'll come in with a palette knife and really, really plow it in. But I just want to lay down some of this snow and the shape of this brush just really sneaks into these places. It's most important you work on the angle that, uh, that you're pulling the snow in. Okay, just like that. Does that look 
okay or do we need to go a little bit higher with that snow don't know we'll think about that we'll think about that soon we'll just go right the way over this load a lot of paint into the paint brush and then just as you go just turn and twist the brush all the way around and that will give you a nice neat straight edge there we go take some time doing especially sneaking around the little rocks but it's well worth it now a little bit of the the blue into some of this white this is going to be shadow so we want a bit of shadow in the snow down here so wherever we think it's gonna live just cast a shadow into that snow just there maybe it creeps out we don't know where this this stone goes maybe ventures there and joins joins the white stuff let's cast a little shadow up, up there like that i'm gonna have to check that see if it looks straight uh, we can sneak in a bit of shadow here and there as well and maybe it's a little shadows coming off this way so just very lightly Put a little bit of a snow bank there maybe on this side but just a touch just a touch yeah we're getting there there we go a little bit creeps up in there don't know yet don't know so we've got a snow highlighted and shadowed in there and it looks pretty cool so I'm going to take, we said we'd put a little tree in there for some uh, for some scale. Okay, so I'm just going to take some burnt umber on a flat, it's a quarter inch flat brush, maybe a touch of black in there. Okay, still very dry and we'll paint just a small sort of tree. So I'm just going to put a dot there, just like that. And then miss a bit and then straight down now of course you don't want a tree in your painting don't put one in okay i just wanted something to give it a little tiny bit of scale okay so the bigger this tree is the smaller your mountains become and maybe trees don't really grow on top of mountains but i think it deserves one okay there we go so that's just our little tree trunk now we can come back in here add a little bit of white to that and this is still very firm and dry i'm just going to tap just a delicate touch just the side of this just to give it a little bit of a feel that there's some highlights on there don't want much don't want much. right so on a tiny little the littlest filbert brush i could find number one really tiny i've got a little bit of sap green and uh, some some burnt umber Okay, just mix. I'm going to put just a couple of leaves on this thing. Okay, so I'm going to start up there. There's hardly any paint on the brush. So I'm just going to tap in over the trunk. Going to have a, a nice view for a really hard life, this tree. Some kind of pine that'll live up there. So just working just a tiny touch of some some leafy branches that live up here be darken it up a little bit stronger paint just there like that like that a bit more brown in that i think so oh, there we go we're getting there building up color again build up color maybe wipe off a little bit of that excess a little bit of yellow into this and just add some yellow onto the highlight side i don't want too much because it's still too small and too far away i just wanted a tree to give us a little bit of scale like so a bit of yellow again white here and there here as well okay so the last thing to do just as uh, a little bit of something we're gonna have to set this tree into the painting by just paint a little bit of snow just around the 
base of the trunk just there and then we'll that's just white paint get a bit of the blue involved with this as well get a shadowy color going and create a nice shadow just there like that this out in fact we'll put a bit of a stronger shadow on so go straight into some blue now and then just down here where this tree is going to cast a big shadow just like that you can probably hardly tell it's there but it does it makes the whole world of difference okay just like that and i think that's about yeah i'm not too sure about the cloud situation yet you let me know what you would do would you paint some big clouds or would you have it like the, uh, the big void that it is okay but if you've enjoyed this one and give it a go uh tag me in a, a photograph the links to my socials are down in the description and uh, let me know how you're doing subscribe to the channel leave me a nice comment like the video and until next time take care of yourself stay safe happy days